in this day and age, science in sport is very, very big. It's not just, as I always use the expression, some bloke in his speedos like myself. There are so many other guys involved. There's biomechanists that look at your stroke, especially for a swimmer. You've got nutritionists, you've got physiologists. They're looking at every single part of your, your body, your the day-to-day -day diet and other things like that. So there's so much every single day that we are involved when there's a scientist that, that will help us get, be better athletes. And it's getting bigger and bigger. The more we learn about each of the sports, the more scientists are involved to, to look where we go. We've even got statisticians in there just making sure that the stats are right and everything just looks right on paper so that you can have what's deemed to be the perfect event. I'm actually a scientist myself. I'm a pharmacist by trade, so I went to university and got a degree in pharmacy down in Portsmouth, and I actually worked as a pharmacist for quite a number of years, and then unfortunately had a motorbike accident, um, which wrote off both my legs basically from below the knees. Now, the thing with that is, being a scientist and being a pharmacist, I knew exactly what had happened to me, but I also knew the best way, way to get better. And so I, I, I'm trying to work out how to do it. And I actually did a lot of asking of a lot of people around me just to make sure that I could become the best I could be. Um, when I went to physiotherapy, I was always there ahead of everyone else and asking the important questions, how can I get better? Where can I go from this? So my background knowledge helped me no end. The first time I got, got into the water was amazing because I was trying to learn to walk again because my ankles were so badly damaged, I didn't think I'd ever walk. Well, I got told I'd never get walk again. So I had to find a way of teaching myself to walk. So um, I went to the local swimming bars with my brother and he tipped me in. He basically got hold of my wheelchair, ran from the back of the pool as hard as he could and stopped the wheelchair and I went, um, the guys in the pool just went, oh, they've just thrown a wheelchair guy into the water, what's going on? Which was really, really funny, but um, the lifeguards knew what was going on. Everything was done under health and safety rules, so it wasn't an issue. Um, and I started doing that on a regular basis just to try and strengthen my muscles because I was aware that three months of being laid up in bed, my muscles were completely worn away. There was nothing, I just had these bones with little bits of meat attached to the side of them. So I had to get better and I had to do something for my, my mental state as well. I've always been a very active person. So for me to be laying down for three months, not doing anything, it was a very, very, very tough time of my life. So the swimming itself actually helped me and the learning to walk again. And this was all just because of what I knew about my own ability in the water. I was a little bit of a swimmer before and not a great one, but I thought, well, we'll give it a go and see how we go. And it's the only sport I can now do because I can't, can't wait bear. I find it very, very hard to stand for any period of time. I uh, can't run, I can't jump. So that takes out pretty much every sport there is out there. So swimming is what I, I basically put all of my energies into and focus so that I could see where we go. So that has been my, my savior uh, as a person for the mental stage. But the science has actually then portrayed a massive part in it to actually show that I can actually be as good as I was. And I ended up, I've now swim faster as a disabled athlete than I ever did as an able-bodied athlete when I was younger, which is an amazing thing. And it was one of my dreams that I had on the way to um, getting all of these medals. These were just incidents that happened on the way. I, I, I wanted to get one or two ideas and I wanted, a, I wanted to wing this one here, which is my, my first Paralympic gold medal. And I wanted that so much. Um, these ones were just Europeans and worlds that you have to go through to get get the process done to get, get the big ones in the end. And then I wondered, like, is it possible to make it for four years later, go out to Beijing and see what that was like? Tough, very, very tough, because that's four more years of training uh, relentlessly, because swimming is not the easiest um, sport there is. I train twice a day, most days in the water for two hours at a time. I then have a two and a half hour gym session. So it's a very comprehensive thing. I've got coaches left, right and center, but I've also got physiotherapists, I've got massage therapists, just to make sure that my body is functioning and recovering to the level it needs to before I actually get back in. Because when I'm in the water, I wanna make the most of every second that I'm in there because that's the thing that's gonna make me aim towards the next medal and try and get the, the next goal that I'm after. I, I really believe that if you are not able to compete in a sport at a high level, at the level that you, that you think is the best in the world, that um, a career within science will actually help you associate with the guys who can and it will actually be the little things that you do every single day will actually make a big big uh, effect on those guys that are actually out there performing so when you see your athlete out there on the field of play playing as as hard as they can you know that you've done everything you can to assist them and give them the best training uh, and recovery and all these other things that we as athletes need to make them the best athlete they are at the time so really really think that science plays a big, big part in the modern day athlete's life. I think that looking around and seeing so many people here that are, sorry, so many young people here that are interested in science and all the, the STEM 
uh, courses, then I think they could really, really actually help any athlete there. They can do anything they want to because they've got the will and the idea. And it's just like being an athlete yourself. Once you know you, what you want, as long as you focus and you've got the determination and, and drive to actually get there, there is nothing that's going to stop you. And I think because the world of science is so, so big, there are so many chances for you to get in there and, and help athletes um, all the way through from Team GB to Paralympics GB and all the other world-class sports that are out there. Because it's not just, just because we're in the year of the Olympics or Paralympics, there are events going on year on year on year that are world championships and, and top level sport that everyone can help in. So I really believe if just one or two of the children, uh, young people that are here could do that, I think it would, it would make Britain a much better sporting uh, nation.